Today I am going to show you and everyone how to make pur. So there's different way of making pur. I'm making the way that simple really. Everything that I cook, I make it very simple. And here's the noodle. Pur noodle, I like this. It's a small size, but there's medium size also. So I like the medium, I mean the small width. And what I'm going to do with this one, you can buy this noodle in the Oriental store, Thai, um, Vietnam store, they usually have it. And I'm going to soak in the water, warm water or hot water, in this container right here. Uh, Hot water. Okay, here it is soaking in hot water and it usually take about 15 to 45 minutes. Well I'm letting this soak I'm gonna do the cutting the vegetable and everything to prepare to put on the side after it's cooked, the noodles and stuff. Also, boiling hot water pot here, besides the soup, for the soup pot. In this soup pot right now, I put in salt, garlic powder, and seasoning. You don't have to just put your salt. I'm letting it boil up hot before I put the chicken in again here I'm saying but this pot right here this water pot will be towards when the soups are done and this noodle that I soak in the water before I said about 15 minutes to 45 minutes in hot water I dump the water out let the water drain out and what we're going to do is put it in the strain, this strainer thing and we'll put it in the noodle in like this. Like this. And we're going to put it in to this hot boiling water here. We'll let it sit in there for like two, three minutes. And then put it in our big dish that we're gonna put in for the soup. And then we'll put all these. Okay, I just put the meatballs, the whole bag. You can put as much you like, but since it's a big pot, I put the whole bag, it's family side in here. See the meatballs cooking. So we'll cook about 15 more minutes because it was not all throw out the meatball so that would give it time to cook and thaw it out about 15 minutes in the high heat and then it would be done then this water for the noodle will be hot enough to quickly dip the noodle into for putting in a bowl for the soup. Okay, the soup is done. The meatball is floating on the top. What I put in the sauce, let me repeat again, is salt, it's got garlic powder, and you don't have to put those stuff in. And I also put onion, sweet onion that I cut up in there. Besides the chicken breast, I slice it thin so it cooks faster. And then the meatball, homemade meatball that's already done cooking already. So it was frozen and it takes about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to cook. And when it's done, the meatball it will flow up on the top like this. So that's about it there. And then this, water is hot enough. So what I'm going to do is put this 
noodle in here. See, only about less than a minute. Let the water drain down, out from it. Put in a big bowl. And you can put more than that, but since we ate lunch not long ago, we're not too hungry, so we're putting this much noodle, at least for me. Okay, now I'm putting the soup. Stir the soup. Putting the soup from there into the bowl. There it is, and more juice. There. Now I'm going to take it to the living room, dining room, and put all the other condiments on it. In it. Here's the condiment all at the table, and the soup right here. And the condiments back here, we have seasoning here of soy sauce, fish sauce, salt, black pepper, sugar, chili, garlic sauce, And then the vegetable and herbs we're putting in black beans that's soaking, carrot, bean sprout, cabbage, cilantro, tomato, all cut up, everything here, yeah. green and red tomato, sweet onion. And then we're gonna put those all in there. And you can pick and choose how much you like to put in any of these. Sauce I'm putting in. The next one I'm putting in is fish sauce. I'm leaving it open so the next person can use it. Black pepper, I mean salt, a little bit salt here. Black pepper. I'm not putting too much at all of black pepper because I prefer I prefer the red hot salt pepper and then I'm putting some sugar a teaspoon like I said I forgot the lemon lime or lemon slice to squeeze it and put it in but you don't have to putting in pepper Garlic ground, chili, wood fry, garlic sauce. And then next, I'm gonna start with over here. Putting some carrot in. This is bean sprout. Cabbage. Tomato, <coughs> excuse me, pepper, black pepper's getting to me. Onion, cilantro, <coughs> excuse me. And then 
black beans, all soaking. And I'm gonna sit over here. And what we do is we have chopstick here, fork and spoon. What I'm gonna do is mix this around. We got the fork and the chopstick here. Mix it around. And then use the spoon to taste the sauce to see if it needs some more seasoning. Mine is just right, so I use the chopstick and eat. Give it a taste. <laughs> 